Hello everyone, Rhaenyra Games here and we're back with another planet based episode. This is then episode 23 and we are um, focusing on getting to 300 colonists as we are now 237, we were at 240 but uh, in the end of last, the last episode I kind of lost a little grip of our tactic and some invaders got inside and uh, more or less massacred a lot of people. So not good. Uh, so we're going to be keeping a little bit more hawk eye on this as we're working on kind of a project I want to be built here. So we're going to have a control center here and we're going to have a lot of guards and kind of like have everybody forced to go in this direction. Not quite sure if it's going to be working, but at least it's uh, the idea I have. So I think we're going to be speeding it up here because... The invaders came kind of like in the end of last episode so the next two ships at least i don't think would be any invaders but i think it's a random chance too one more now and then we're on the peak that we were on in the last episode so uh, a little um uh, how, how to say it uh a little throwback, back but we are slowly getting back to where we were uh, spares are doing good. We are making robots. And how are we for armed guards? 20 armed guards. Half of them are not armed. Uh, I think we're having another colonist ship. There. So maybe the next colonist ship now could have a potential risk of getting um, invaders again. I'm actually gonna be maybe opening one more. We don't have that much metal. We have a little ore and so on. Uh, how many drill bots do we have? Do we even have drill bots? Are we out of drill bots? Uh, let me see. No, we have two drill bots. They're just not drilling right now. Okay, they're drilling, but some of our workers are actually starting to be mining too so would actually be nice with a few more drill bots we are uh, actually crafting them here so our ratio is one construction robot one drill robot and two carrying robots and this is actually where i think the invaders are coming no okay just me being paranoid and if we build a bigger yeah we built this one in last episode, as you can see, we have a lot of random resources being placed there, but um, mostly starch. As starch is the winner <laughs> of all our resources. I have a bad feeling the next colony ship that's coming is going to be with intruders. I have a feeling... Biologist and biologist. Okay. The next one then. I'm gambling on the next one. <laughs> but we're close to 250 uh, colonists now. So that is awesome. And the control center here is now complete. So well, I, I don't think I want to be build, building anything before we have at least this connection built. But I really hope that could really... Um, Increase everything and now there must be coming intruders, right? No, oh Not this time either, huh interesting We're one colonist away from 250 and that makes us just 50 away from 300 our welfare is actually on good uh, I have a feeling people are not that happy though in this area and that is because a lot of them are being centered around here so there's a lot more competition around the stuff ah still no invaders and uh, we're on 251 so only 49 to go it's like a countdown <laughs> and this one is not complete i'm just gonna be setting down the time a little bit and we're only gonna have guards on this spot and I'm gonna have a, a gun safe at least over there and also over here so I'm, no there's always gonna be guns available 
And then we're gonna have tons of these, so we're always forcing guards to be at work at this location. I really wish you could control where ships are landing in this game, because you, you could kind of like control like, okay, over there where we're having now only trade ships and here only colonist ships and so on. So that would be really nice, but sadly that's not an option. So we need to be working with what we have. Okay, and we are gonna speed it up again because we want to be a little efficient. Now there must be coming intruders, right? No, not this time either. A lot of biologists coming up, but that is what we're mostly aiming for. We still have this one empty, so we can still produce a lot more food. Sandstorm soon coming. Yeah, I think we're gonna be also opening stuff here and I have a feeling we actually got some intruders here now but this time either okay either I'm just lucky or uh, it's uh, the game is trying to play tricks with me and then when I'm really like okay we're getting no more intruders that's when they strike I have a bad feeling. And we're up at 1000 starch now. That is extreme. <laughs> so that is definitely filling up our inventories a lot. Do we have more than 1000 too? Not quite sure. Intruders. There we go. Intruder alert. Yellow alert. Do we have any colonists that are using this one? Nope. I'm closing up that. Close. We're closing up all the airlocks as this is gonna make intruders just stand outside until they die. Closing up this, closing up this. Meteorite almost hit our monolith here, but it's safe. There. And uh, the reason why we're sounding the yellow alert is so all our colonists can be running in. And um, we're just turning off the airlocks so these can't be going in. Uh, you're just a drill bot, so you can just go back to work after we have turned off the alert. I think everything is good there, so we're just going to turn off the alert again. And then we're just going to speed up everything. They are going to be going to the last airlock they want to go to before I turn stuff off. And we have a sandstorm. And that is not good. So you guys, please head on in. As we then turn it off when they have entered. There. Very good. And I'm going to speed up everything again. Everybody is happy. Except the intruders though, of course, but <laughs> I'm not trying to make them happy. Where are they actually? They're trying to wander here. It would be nice if the sandstorm could kill them, but normally the sandstorm doesn't kill. It just damages, but never really kills. So they're going to be stopping at this airlock here it seems like or maybe this one or maybe not <laughs> i'm curious where they're actually going are they going all the way over to this one i think this one was the last one we were closing so it's a fairly long walk but as you can see at least like from walking from there all the way over here uh, the oxygen just barely makes it but i guess if they were carrying stuff then they wouldn't have made it And I'm actually just going to be opening this now. As they are dead before they get back here anyway. And there we just heard a group of people dying. Eight people or eight intruders. And we're getting more. 
Uh, people now, so we're at 259. I'm just really worried about oxygen in these areas. So I really want to be splitting people up a little more. There, we're having the guards here now. And I'm gonna be opening this cafeteria. So we have two cafeterias here, as well as a multi dome. And we are also going to be opening one of the do dorms here, as we will be building some beds. So everybody has a place to sleep. Dun -dun. There. And build everything we can fit in here. There we go. And in the dome here, I think actually I'm gonna be building the cafeteria first because it's it's food that's most important. So again, we're gonna be making more meal makers than we usually did. And that is because, so there's always food in here and then it's always stored in here. I'm just gonna making these tables because if you place this one, of course you get four, but you can't be placing other small tables but if you place these, then you get up to six seating places. And then, of course, some more water for people. And then we can plant some plants here too. Just so people are happy. See if we can fit in a TV somewhere. Doesn't seem like they can fit in any TVs, sadly. But they have some flowers to look at at least. <laughs> and the guard place here is starting to look nice a lot of the guard screens i really hope they can actually start fighting and drop sitting at the security console that i'm a little unsure of but i think it will be good and i see we're getting more colonists here even more biologists as we're at 129 biologists that's a lot um, engineers we don't need more of but of course we can just have more guards more guards means more security so and we are making a lot of food now so why not just go a little bit more guards again there of course what I'm afraid of is the um, starch filling up all our inventories uh, leading to maybe some of our food stuff halting and that wouldn't be good oh we actually have a bar and everything here too that is closed stuff and this one is closed stuff we have a lot of stuff that is not operational and that is because of power and so on too that was something i wanted to do too like build more power collectors and so on but for now we're fine it seems like and uh, we are actually not producing as much metal as we used to do and that could be due to our workers doing other things because i could put this one on higher priority again like so so we get a little bit more metal going i said we'll prioritize making metal compared to bioplastic is this robot destroyed no it can still be repaired are you bringing guards for us? One guard. And why am I not speeding up stuff? Speed it up. So 264. Getting closer to the six more to go. And we're having a few guards that's deciding to work down here. This one can only have four guards. Have another guard there. I wish almost just unarmed guards could stay here and then um, uh, all the armed ones could uh, be on patrolling. Just like this one. Just walking around. Uh, being idle. But I guess idle for guards is good. Just to have a little time to just protect and be ready in case there were to be anything. 266 
And meteorites that are scaring the living... Living rock out of me. <laughs> I'm not trying to curse. I'm trying my best. Um... See if we're getting some more. I would like actually bigger ones. But again, the smaller ones can actually land on the bigger ones too, so it's a little random what you get. Welfare is on decent, almost too good. Do we have 21 carrying robots? Wow. <laughs> they better be putting up the welfare a little. Ah, we have another one. Oh, do, 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 do. oh, I did not expect you guys to come so soon. Uh, where is my alert? Yellow alert, everyone. Any workers in here? No, but it seemed to be somebody going in there, but we got them in. And we're just closing off everything. This is why I keep on close eye on this stuff. Okay, apparently these were closed off. Not the best as I should try to keep everything open. Okay, and then they're stopping up there. That means that we have closed off everything. So we can just do that and um, turn off the alert. So in a way, I like when they're coming, of course, I don't like it if stuff needs service, but then we actually know that um, there won't be coming any um, intruders in and we could just have it like this. I'm actually gonna be opening this just to have a little race. Can our new colonists make it before the intruders? Or the visitors? The visitors seems to be faster. They're definitely faster. And why the hell did you go out? But okay. Let me just open it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Can you go in? Okay, and then turn it off. That was a close call. So now they won't be going in. And uh, they're just going to stand there. We have even more guards coming in. Is this two or three? Can't really tell. Is it three? It seems like there's three people there. So that's good. As we are now just 28 away. As I, and then I don't want those to enter and destroy everything here. And let us see. There's two workers actually in the mine now. But they're fine, I think. I hope. Even more colonists coming. Come on. You guys just just die. Not not that one, but this one. <laughs> so what I can do just to get those closer is I can open this one. And I can close it. <laughs> just to have them moving. And I can open this one and then uh, just play with them. <laughs> I feel evil. But hi. And another colonist ship coming in. Please don't be any intruders. As I have a feeling the game is going to be a little hard with us. When we're getting closer and closer to 300. Soon down here. He seems tired. <laughs> Please let me in. Just gonna be watching them die and then going to the mine again. See, we could just open here again and then they could be like, oh, it's open. But I don't even think they're gonna be managing to go over here before they die. Just to be safe, I'm gonna close it off because you never know. more it's not ours right good and then we can open up everything and pretend like nothing 
there and we're just missing 25 more now intruders has died yes very good that's what they get <laughs> was it seven of them it seems like seven or eight okay and we are open again like nothing happened unless this is intruders again just making ready as i don't want to be losing this now okay there we go three more mainly just guards we are really getting close now i just really don't hope we get stung by something we don't expect like oxygen lack as you can see here for example oxygen is decreasing in a way we should almost have oxygen generator in this lab because apparently we have an empty lab here and we're producing plenty of meat so let's just destroy this one hopefully they will go collect this and then we make an oxygen generator instead And I'm going to be speeding up stuff. Yes, uh, can you guys pick this up please? And I'm just speeding down every time I see a new colony ship, not just to have a control. Border control. <laughs> These are just guards, yes. So we are now just 19 away. Having my fingers, my toes, everything crossed that we just make it to 300. And can somebody please pick up this stuff? That would be awesome and I would much appreciate it. Just some more guards. 200, now 17 left, so 283. Don't see too many sad people, just a few, but that hopefully just get cured. So uh, it seems like everybody's a little bit more happier. Another guard. Thank you. So that new place we made in a way, I don't think we need it because we were so close anyway. But of course, spreading out people to different areas is of course the good part. How are we for power? Power is still good. I'm ready for an invasion. Ah, there we go. just get some more cards. Awesome. Uh, can I fit this one in? I want this one. Oh, we can actually just build it. I'm just wondering where we should have it in a way it should be connected there at least. And that is because this is where most of people are walking. So we should have oxygen flowing in here. But that will be built. And as you can see, this one is just on 18%. So if everybody's sleeping at two, it's probably pulling a lot. Ah, just more guards. As we are starting to get a lot of guards and we're just 10 colonists away now. This is awesome. And then we have unlocked all the milestones. So that is gonna be cool. Really pushing for the last step. Uh, power is getting drained because wind is low. Don't really hope this is going to be a problem because I tell you, this many people here now, it's going to totally kill a lot of people if the oxygen gets drained. But spares and so on, we're still good. And we're just seven away. Come on. We are gonna make it in this episode. So this is most likely gonna be the last episode then guys, because I said uh, the goal to um, be 300. And of course we are gonna be doing other planets and so on too. But for this uh, series, we are uh, we're trying to just reach all the milestones. At least that was the goal. Five more then. Ay ay ay. I mean, we're gonna miss this messy colonist too, though, even though 
it's very messy, but it's, it's been fun building all of this. Really, really much fun. Five more, come on. Hmm. And there, four more. Come on, come on, come on. How's the oxygen? Going up a little bit, very slowly, but going up. Food still seems stable, everything seems stable. Are we having intruders now? No, actually not. So we're just two colonists away now. And I refuse to lose them to intruders. Or visitors, intruders. I totally refuse. <laughs> Okay, and is this gonna be the whip endpoint? No, this is the intruder, so we're gonna have a little, what to call it, action in the end. Even though it's not very much action, because I just banned them for entering. There, and they are heading over to this one, but we're gonna block their entrance there too. There, and then I actually can guarantee that we're actually gonna get two lost colonists now while actually waiting for these people to to die. And they're coming just here. And boom. 300 people. I'm gonna be turning off the alert. And I'm actually gonna let them in. Bloop, bloop, bloop. And if we press on this one now, getting a little cutscene here, and your colony has now 300, 300 citizens. Awesome. And we're still getting people. <laughs> Very cool. Um, yeah, so uh, 305 colonists, and actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open the floodgates. And uh, this is going to be fun, as we're going to have a little battle now, as this is basically the last episode anyway. Uh, red alert, people. Red alert. Fight. I, I said fight. <laughs> a little last battle. Forcing our colonists to fight here. Oh, they're a little over here too. We're having a war going on. Is there more? Why is he outside without a helmet? How is that even possible? Ha. Huh. We got a little bug on the end there too. Interesting. Ha. Huh. There's more of them too. There's two of them. And we have a sandstorm. Everything kind of hit on the same spot. And then we actually went on to 300. But we still got the milestone. So we have actually unlocked all the milestones here now. So that is awesome. And that is actually going to be putting an end to these, this series. I'm just going to turn off this alert. <laughs> yeah, it's been a lot of fun doing this series. And I can't wait until I start on a new planet. And uh, you, the viewer, I really hope you have enjoyed these uh, Let's Plays. And uh, I want to give a huge thank you to everybody that's been watching through the entire series. As you guys are just awesome. And it really, really means a lot to me seeing the views I get on these videos. So thank you guys so much. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you for the next Let's Play of this uh, the game, I guess. And uh, um, if so, um, if so. Be an ending video, so I'm not good at it. <laughs> I guess practice. Uh, but yeah, uh, I also have other Let's Plays going on the channel. So uh, uh, feel free to check those out if you want to, as we're playing uh, various of other games too. But uh, I can guarantee you that there will be coming a new season of this game where we're playing on the other planets. I can't guarantee when, but I can guarantee we are definitely going to be playing it. So yeah, uh, we're wrapping it up then guys. So again, huge, huge thank you to all of you. And until next time, stay safe 
and bye. Wish there was a way to kind of have a big view of everything we built, but around here, I guess. Yes, thank you guys, and see you around. Bye.